Hey everyone, welcome back to a tutorial video. This is going to be different to any other video that you've seen on YouTube. So this is going to demonstrate how to do the Z vanishes, the super counters and everything else. But the main purpose of this video is going to be to give you data. So you've probably already seen a few breakdowns on some other YouTube videos that show you exactly what to do. So by now you probably already know how to Z counter and vanish. I am going to cover those things in this video, but I'm also going to give you some slow-mo data and some clips um, just so that you can digest as much as you possibly can so that you can really and truly understand the timings for these things. So before I get into the slow motion replays, um, I just want to apologise, I'm extremely sick, I should be in hospital, um, but steroids are covering it. <laughs> Let's move on to some uh, slow motion clips so that you guys can better see what's going on here. Okay, moving on to our first clip, we're going to have a look at the first Z counter. So first we're going to look at it in full speed, and then we're going to break that down to a quick slow-mo, and then we're going to go to a very slow-mo so that you can see the exact keyframe that this happens. Now I recommend putting the YouTube video into 50% speed or 25% speed so that you can see, but right here the leg is through me before I actually press the button. Of course in real time, you're pretty much just going to be taking your best guess, you're timing the attacks. So as they're hitting their combo, um, you know, they're probably going to do a three or a four hit combo. You're sort of trying to hit that up in square or up in X on that fourth hit of the combo. My second ball makes my previous look tame. Okay, let's take a look at our first vanish escapes. So the first thing that we want to be keeping an eye out for is when we're knocked back into a situation that the opponent can chase into. So as soon as we're knocked back with enough velocity for the opponent to chase, we're going to start guarding that RB button, and as you'll see here, we're going to evade. Now, when you're playing on super difficulty, the opponent only ever vanishes twice. So as long as you manage to vanish twice, uh, you should have the CPU covered. Obviously, if you're vanishing with players, we'll cover that in a moment, but uh, just keep things short short the idea there is if you've got the key then you should be attempting to vanish until you've got no key left as the vanish maneuver is a lot easier than the z counter once you're out of vanishes and your key is low enough you should be going for the z counter because the z counter is guaranteed to work with no key uh, obviously hitting it is a completely different story but let's take a look at those vanishes in slow motion so that we can see exactly what's going on Okay, so the first thing we're going to be looking out for here is the moment we're knocked back, which is this moment right here. So he's vanished, and we're vanishing right as the attack is about to land. And we'll show that again now with the controller up uh, in bigger on the screen and also in slower motion so that you guys can see exactly what's going on. It's a bit harder to see on the first example because we're being knocked back and you can't clearly see the opponent. But pretty much you see that red spark, it's just after that red spark. And here you can see another example. Right as his attack is about to go through me. Now with the Z counters, it's more sort of like as the attack's gone through you with the vanishes, it's more like right as it's about to land. Personally, I find the best way to practice the vanishes is to vanish as late as you possibly can. Now, you are going to miss the vanish quite a lot doing this, but it's only going to take you a couple of tries to figure the timing out. Versus if you're trying to vanish the other way around and you're trying to vanish as early as possible, um, it's kind of hard to find the timing. You tend to get lost on where the right moment to vanish is. Whereas when you're vanishing late, I find it's, it's just easier to understand where the vanish should be. So it's right before the attack connects, unlike the Z counter, which is when the attack has actually gone through through you already okay here we're going to look at an example of vanishing incorrectly so we're going to see that i make the first vanish perfectly fine and the second vanish it goes wrong and i end up missing so let's take a look at that at 50 percent speed and you can see the first time that i vanish i end up pressing it right as i'm about to be attacked and the second time i end up pressing it way too early now it doesn't look early but let's look at it at 10 percent speed good timing he vanishes right as my attack is about to land there. And then I vanish now, and I should have vanished now. You see the red sparks are a dead giveaway. Next up, let's have a look at some grabs. So we want to time our grabs as our opponent is reaching out. So we'll play this back in slow motion for you to have a look at now. But essentially, as soon as the hand starts its forward motion, I believe the window is open. Um, the closer you can get your opponent's hand to you, the better it's going to be and the more consistent you're going to be able to deflect the grab. There you can see I time it. 
somewhere between halfway towards me and actually hitting me, and it seems to work out perfectly well. Okay, next we're going to look at Sonic Sway, possibly one of my favourite attacks in one of the Tenkaichi series. So you're going to see this happens very fast. Um, I actually initially think I'm going to go for the Perception, then I end up blocking and then going for the Sonic Sway straight after. So let's take a look what that looks like at 50% speed, and then let's break that down in real time here for 10% speed. So as soon as he's in close, here I go for the Perception. I realize he's going to attack so I end up going for the guard and then you see right after his first attack I start holding circle war B and that goes straight into the sonic sway. So the timing for the sonic sway, it can happen under a few circumstances. Um, initially as soon as the opponent attacks uh, you're open to a perception or a sonic sway and I find the best way to trigger this is to be holding guard at the time that you end up pressing B or a circle for a sonic sway. Um, most of the time that's going to end up getting you your sonic sway. Alright guys, finally I've just thrown in some sample footage here. So this is a fight with uh, just Baseball and Frieza versus Super Saiyan Vegeta and Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta. Um, they're two of the most annoying opponents in the game. Um, the footage is here so that you can slow it down on YouTube and you can see the buttons as clearly as possible so that you can see the timing for all of the evasions, uh, any anything that happens really, any of the vanishes, the Z-counters. Um, and I'll leave you with it. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please leave a like. Um, leave a comment, let me know if there's anything else that you want me to make a video on or anything that you would find useful. See you soon. Play for a bit. <laughs> Too slow. You'll never defeat me with such talk. Take it. <laughs> You've fallen for it. Play for a bit. <laughs> Too slow. You'll never defeat me with such paltry power.
Let's play for a bit. <laughs> Too slow. You'll never defeat me with some. <laughs> <laughs> I suppose I should exert myself on occasion. Fare thee well.